Hey, what's up everyone? It's Letitia with Barefoot Gardening. I hope that you're doing well. Just wanted to show you beginner gardeners, did you know that most of our squash plants and melon plants have male and female flowers? Well, if you didn't, now you know. Let me show you what each of them look like. So I believe this is a pumpkin. I really do. Um, I had it labeled in the greenhouse. The greenhouse fell over. Um, so some labels were mixed up when I put them back in. I did my best, but in any event, it doesn't matter. This is how you tell the difference between a female and a male flower or a, a female or male part. Now, I don't have any flowers in bloom right now, as you can see on this plant. However, um, any bud that has these spiky things coming out are male flowers. Will seem to bloom to be male flowers. So, for instance, here, you see that? See how they come out there? And here? These will all be male flowers. Most of the plants produce male flowers first, and then you will see females. And here is my first female that I see. Let's see if I can get it for you real good. Right here. Now, notice how this bud has kind of like a bump. Can you all see that? Yeah, that's a female. That's the fruit. So the male flower will be pollinated, uh, or the female flower will be pollinated by male. And there are several ways you can pollinate. You can hand pollinate. You can, uh, which means you take the male flower. Once this blooms and, and opens up, you can take the male flower, rub it together with the female, and that will continue to pollinate this fruit or bees will take care of it for you um, and any other pollinator like butterflies that's all the difference between female flowers and male flowers we have a fruit <laughs> 